Like this one, Oklahoma Attorney General Scott Pruitt, who opposes Obamacare, won a round in federal court. What is his lawsuit? Well, let's ask him. Oklahoma Attorney General Scott Pruitt joins us. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Greta. How are you? I'm very well. So you have, on behalf of uh, Oklahoma, sued, uh, sued over Obamacare. You won uh, a, a stage in this litigation which says that basically you can go forward, that you have something called standing. But before we get to that, what is your lawsuit? What are you claiming is wrong with Obamacare that gives you a legal right to be in court? Well, as you know, Greta, state health care exchanges are a major part of the Affordable Care Act, and Congress gave each of the states a decision a decision on whether to set up a state health care exchange and there's something very important that happens when a state chooses not to set up a state health care exchange and it's that the employer mandate penalties that flow when businesses don't provide qualifying health insurance they cannot be assessed in those states the IRS disregarded that last year in May of last year they adopted a rule and said whether you've adopted an exchange or not we're going to assess the employer mandate penalty uh, the only problem with that, Greta, is that that's not what the law says. And so we in Oklahoma made a decision not to set up a state health care exchange. And the IRS has come into our state trying to assess the employer mandate penalty. And we have sued the IRS saying that that uh, violates the congressional intent and the congressional language that's found in the ACA. All right. So you're saying that if the state had set up the exchanges, then the IRS could do that. But the, the way the law is written, that with if the state declines to set up an exchange and the federal government has to set up the exchange, that they are without specific or express authority in the statute to do that. Is that essentially what it is? It's, exa it's, exac it's exactly right. right. Congress said specifically that. Well, see, here's what I don't understand that. Okay, I got, I got that, but what I don't understand is that if the, if the president can say, I mean, the way the law is written right now, Congress... And, and their staffs are subject to Obamacare. But what the president and, and I guess Congress didn't like last week is they decided they wanted to exempt themselves, so they just take out their pen and they write a rule and they write it right out of it. Why can't they just sort of write that rule again and include the subsidies with the federal so that which essentially guts your lawsuit so that they have the authority then, even though it's a federal exchange and not a state exchange, to do, that, uh, to do the penalty? I mean, what you've described, Greta, is exactly what the IRS did. The IRS simply disregarded the plain reading of the statute and passed an agency rule that said whether you have an exchange or not, we're going to assess the employer mandate uh, assessment. It's clear that Congress they, could they not did. require the states. It's, cl it's clear that they could not require the states. It's but if the agency did that, that's one agency, the IRS, that did that, that wants to do that. Well, the Labor Department, another agency, decided that the caps that protect the consumer from rising deductibles and, and co-payments, that, that, that they, could, they could disregard that. So why can I mean, if the Labor Department could disregard that part, why can't the IRS disregard the part that applies to you? It sounds like nobody's regarding but anything. Well, because Oklahoma, uh, you know, our state has said that, they, that that's inconsistent with the rule of law. That's what the lawsuit's about. Uh, you know, it's clear that Congress could not require or mandate the states to set up health care exchanges. It's also clear that they wanted to incentivize the states to set up health care exchanges to these subsidies. So when the administration badly miscalculated how many states would, would participate, 34 states have chosen not to set up an exchange. When they did that, the IRS tried to undo it by creating this rule to disregard the plain reading of the statute. You know, many people in Washington, Greta, are talking about the defunding of Obamacare, uh, the Affordable Care Act. Uh, and, 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 and really, if, if we're successful in our lawsuit, the 34 states, the IRS will not be able to assess the employer mandate penalty uh, in those 34 states, and the structure of the ACA will fall as a result of, of this lawsuit, potentially. Everything I've read about your lawsuit, that if you are successful, that that is the, one of the, the you know, biggest assaults on Obamacare, that that will have the most potent assault, that will have more, I mean, that you have more, that more of an impact with your lawsuit, should you win, than Capitol Hill will in its effort to defund um, in this next go-around battle. I mean, that's what I read. I don't, you know. That's well, what, uh, no, that's the, the, that's true, and the IRS will not be able to assess because of, uh, if we're successful in the lawsuit, will not be able to assess, accept, uh, assess the employer mandate penalty in 34 states. So that is a substantially uh, it, difficult problem for the administration in implementation of the law. All right, and just so that the viewers are clear, what happened in your in your least recent round in which you won is that the government wanted to throw you out of the lawsuit, saying you had no business bringing it. You didn't have something called standing. And what the judge says is, oh, yes, Oklahoma has standing. Oklahoma has an absolute right to bring this, to be part of this litigation that they're bringing. It doesn't say the judge is going to rule your way, but the judge says you're in play. Is that right? It's one step in a process. We won the battle, and we pray to win the war. But this is one step, and we're very excited about the outcome so far.
Attorney General, thank you, sir, and I hope you come back as this uh, meanders through the court system. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Greta.